Hey guys, so this is going to be my vinyl collection. I decided to do this collection because I realised I don't really post hauls on this channel anymore because I don't do like massive shops unless it's food now. And um, if you're not following my music and Instagram, you at where I post most of my new vinyls on there, then you're going to have no clue what vinyls I have. So I thought I'd just show you my collection. Um, I've kind of I've not stopped collecting them but they've gotten really expensive like the new ones like <laughs> Shinedown's new album is like is it like 50 quid something like that something really ridiculous or it even might be like 40 something it just well anyway <laughs> it just drives me insane as how expensive it is so I can't really buy them as much I do still collect CDs as well I might do my CD collection I'm not 100% sure yet um but yeah so the vinyls so first things i have is hannibal um season one so hannibal was the main reason why i actually got a vinyl player was because i really wanted the um i really wanted the soundtrack to it but i thought you know what this needs to be played on a good quality vinyl and not cd so that is why i initially got the vinyl in the first place to literally just buy um movie scores but i do have like music artists as well which i have on vinyl which we'll get to and then i have season two as well now to get the last season oh my days it is so expensive last time i checked it was like 200 quid i don't know if it's the same one still up on there but it's a lot of money but i do have a vinyl here which i spent like 100 quid on which is a recent one um but yeah i do really want to get season three but I, I, I need to like look for cheaper options and like shop around and stuff but anyway next i have is last night in soho soundtrack and um, this is basically artists from like the 60s and um, 60s 70s that kind of era um if you've not seen the film really good film next i have thor ragnarok which is my favorite marvel film it's my it was my inspiration for my boxing and everything and yeah hulk is my spirit animal <laughs> The next one, which is the one which I spent 100 quid, was Doctor Strange's Multiverse of Madness. This one is a Mondo exclusive, and I believe you can only get it in America, hence why I paid so much. So basically, I pre-ordered it on eBay, and then I literally pre-ordered pre -ordered it last year. It must have been like August, August, May time. And if you didn't know, this ended up getting delayed because of... Um, I think it was because of some sort of printing issues and stuff like that and I finally have it it's not perfect though because one of the vinyls on one of the sides in the middle is kind of bubbled up which is annoying but I mean other than that it plays fine I then have the Lego movie score I love the Lego movie um I love the second one as well um I only have this one and not the second one because the second one I prefer the score to this one than the second one the second one's more kind of like um musical inspired than the songs and focusing on the score if that makes any sense if you've seen the movie you'll know what I'm talking about I then have Elvis, which I'm so disappointed. I want to get the CD version. I'm just pissed off with this. I expected every song. So you can get every song in the film on the CD, on, on the digital version. Vinyl, no. Like, literally. Like, how can you not have Elvis Presley's version of I... I um, of um is that i can dream but have me if i can dream and then have but have main, main skins version it's just i don't know it kind of pissed me off actually i'm just kind of annoyed about that i'm still annoyed about it i then have a dirty dancing soundtrack and then I have good omens which there's going to be a second season which i'm so happy about I then have U2's October. This is what my dad gave me because he knows I like U2 and he had this final, so he gave it to me. Um, to be fair, though, I want to see if I can get this cleans, specialised cleans, because it does have like that static sound. And I know with some old vinyls, you can clean them up and sometimes it does help. Um, but yeah. 
I then have the U2 18 um, singles collection. I then have Opeth. I've got two albums. This one, I can't even remember what this one's called. This is the latest one. And then I have a Black Water Park. I think I want to collect my favourite Opeth albums in vinyl and not get the whole collection just because, oh my god, there's so many albums. <laughs> I then have um, Shine Downs. Um, I believe this is attention, attention, attention. I believe. Yeah, attention, attention. Really like this album. Again, I do want to get more Shine Down albums on vinyl, but they're so expensive. I then have the Tales, Mystery and Imagination of Edgar Allan Poe. This is by the Allen Parsons Project. Basically, it's kind of songs that are kind of based on works by a gal and po i then have a weezer album um this one is a special edition one um the ok ak human the chaos splatter um print design um this one is probably my favorite weezer album if i'm being honest i did try and get into weezer not of the older stuff but the newer stuff but the newer stuff for a bit <laughs> this one was decent this one was really good and then i need to like i've listened to a few weezer songs like i'm not like i have no idea who weezer are but i've never listened to a full album by them all their older stuff anyway i then have 21 pilots albums so i have their latest one um blurry face and then Vessel, I just need to get Trench. And then finally, I have the single of Sweets, Papa Joe and Genie. I thought I'd get this because Papa Joe is my favourite, one of my favourite songs by the band Sweet. But yeah, that is it for this collection. So bye guys.